Now you're looking at a view inside the Rosviet module. Okay, we can see. That is the docking port to which the Soyuz TMA-20 linked up to uh, almost three hours ago. Alexander Kaleri preparing to open that hatch, and on the other side of that hatch will be the trio of counterparts uh, and the newest residents of the station, Dmitry Kondratiev, Paolo Nespoli, and Katie Coleman. Go ahead. Do you want us to start? Yes. Please come in. Hatch is opened officially at 5.02 p.m. Central Time. Dmitry Kondratiev arrives on the International Space Station in the Rosviet module. Katie Coleman next, greedy, greeted by Alexander Kaleri. And Paolo Nespoli, receiving greetings from Alexander Kaleri, the International Space Station, back to a six-person crew. All uh, of the crew members now on board. The official hatch opening time, 5.02 p.m. Central Time, 2.02 a.m. Moscow Time on Saturday. Expedition 26, doubling in size. We're in the process... Uh, of locking up on the other side of our tracking and data relay satellite system. The crew members will make their way back into the Zvezda service module uh, where they'll don headsets and receive congratulatory calls from Russian, a space agency, NASA, and European space agency officials and their families. Hatch opening occurring uh, as the International Space Station passed over the coast of Peru, just south of Lima, at an altitude of 224 statute miles. SSM to Moscow on a G1. You have a go to translate to SM. We're watching you. And back on board the International Space Station, Oleg Skripochka leading the way as uh, the other crew members uh, slowly but surely will make their way back to the Zvezda service module. Dmitry Kondratiev, who will become Expedition 27 commander in uh, mid-March, taking over from Scott Kelly, making his way into his uh, new home on the Russian segment of the International Space Station. Katie Coleman, beaming from ear to ear with the usual Katie Coleman smile that has become her trademark as he moved, she moves into her new home, and Paolo Nespoli from the European Space Agency revisiting the International Space Station after having been involved in the installation of the Harmony Node 2 on the STS-120 mission three years ago. And the vehicle that brought them from the launch pad at the Baikonur Cosmodrome not quite uh, two days ago 
the Soyuz TMA-20. All the crew members now uh, putting headsets on in the Zvezda service module for the welcoming ceremony and congratulatory calls. Loud and clear, thank you. We can see you. You are here, we can see Katie, and in here in the balcony. In MCC Moscow, there are representatives of the European Space Agency, NASA, and what is most important, your families are here. Copy, ready to talk to you. Congratulations on the successful docking. We can see you feel well. Happy to see the crew that was on board the station, Sasha, Oleg, Skripochka, and Scott. Congratulations, all of you. You are now a united team and now representatives of NASA and European Space Agency will be talking to you. Thank you very much for the congratulations. Oh, hello, it's uh, here. Uh, you're looking great. Uh, you're looking great. Frank, how's it going? It's nice to be here again. Yes, uh, we, we looked to, to the start uh, and you were looking great there as well uh, walking out to the Soyuz. We saw you with uh, Sasha. Uh, I have to tell you that uh, she's back in Houston. Everything is great with her, with the kids. Uh, they are very happy. And also uh, the family at a very good uh, event in, in Verona. So everybody is uh, very happy to see you on board with the start of the Ida Magistra mission. And uh, we're all sure that you will do a great job there. Thank you, Frank. Thank you for everybody taking care of everything. We are ready here for for being of help up here and uh, carry out all the tasks. Okay, say hello to uh, all your crewmates as well from uh, ESA. We were uh, very proud uh, looking to the launch and uh, we are looking forward uh, to the, the six of you uh, doing uh, a great job there on board. Uh, of course, not only for us, but uh, for the entire partnership. Uh, you make the partnership proud. You make the partnership proud. Thank you, Frank, uh, and say hello to everybody at ESA there. Looking forward to work up here. Katie, Dimitri, Paolo, this is Kirk Sherman from NASA. I want to uh, congratulate you on a super launch and docking. Uh, you guys look great. It's great to see you on board that big space station. Hey, Kirk, it's nice to talk to you. It is so beautiful in the Soyuz. We had the best and uh, now we're at the station, it's just amazing. Okay, you guys have fun. We'll be sending lots of vehicles your way here very shortly. Sounds good, Dad. All right, we have some other people here that would like very much to speak with you. Hi, Mom, it's Jamie. Uh, Hi. I love you very much. I'm happy to see you. And I love you. How are you going? Very good. 
That was a good ducking. Very good of you. Are you with mom? Yes, I am. <laughs> Mama will be talking to you now. So long. Dima, hi. We're happy to see you. Hi. Thank you. Unfortunately, I can't see you, but it's nice to hear you. Congratulations on the successful lucky launch and successful docking. Thank you. The friends, relatives, well, they were very much concerned, and they say hi and congratulate you on the successful docking. Thank you very much. We we'll love you. I'll call you down soon. And we're proud of you. Missing you. Okay, thank you. I'll call you down. And wish you successful mission. Thank you. Okay, talk to you later. So long. Hi, Mom. It's Jamie. Uh, well... Dad's gonna have to do twice the job of a dad, cause, uh, well, you're gone for six months, so, yeah. And, uh, well, well I, mean, I miss you a lot, and I'll take care, Dad. I'll take care. I know you will. I miss you, too. I wish you could have been up in the Soyuz with us. It was really pretty amazing to look down and see the Earth. And now we're in the space station. I almost got lost on my way uh, on my way to this place from the Soyuz. It's so big here. Hi, Katie. I know you're taking care of that. Hi, Katie. Hi there. Hi, Katie. I miss you guys. Hi, Katie. But I'm glad to be here. Yeah. 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 Hi, Katie. It's John. Hi, Katie. Hi, Katie. We are so glad that you're on the space station. For the last three years, we have been trying to figure out where you are, whether it's in Germany or Moscow or Star City or Japan or Canada or Texas. And now we know exactly where you are. We know exactly, we can find out at any moment precisely where you are, and you're only, I don't know, 200, 200 miles away. So you seem close to us now. Our hearts are with you. I love you guys, and we won't have to even figure out time zones. It'll be the same time zone for six months. Katie, you get one more. This is Josiah. Uh, you look great up there, and uh, I miss you already, but you seem a lot closer. Lots of love, Earth. Uh, that's a love. I'm coming from here too. I miss you guys, and it, I was thinking of you traveling from uh, Baikonur back to Moscow, and thinking that we had the easy road just being up in space. Uh, I'm glad all of you came in to say hi to the rest of the folks. Go ahead. I just stand to say hello to all the other folks that came uh, to, to the launch. I really appreciate that they came and hope everybody had a great time. Here in the control center, Gennady Rokono wanted to say a few words. Dear colleagues, I hope we are colleagues, though we are on the um, Earth and you are in space. We want to wish you health, wish to work, and capacity to work so that the mission would not be just an ordinary one, but new scientific research to be carried out that would result in very good, that would 
provide good results so that plasma monastics would make another, not just another step forward, but to attain new principle results, new knowledge of humanity, and that it would be a new step for the humanity to move further into the deep peace. We would, I would like to wish you every success. Good luck to you in your endeavors and the experiments you are going to conduct. Thank you very much. Every success to you and waiting for you on us. Thank you, Gennady Gennadyevich. Well, I think new people have arrived on board the station and will be more successful, though the three of us, we did our best to perform the scientific experiments on board the International Space Station. All right, guys. Enjoy your flight. Enjoy your Envy you. Congratulations on the successful docking, and I wish you every success. Good luck to you, and talk to you later. All the best. Thank you. Thank you for those wishes, for the kind words. Thank you for the greetings and kind words. Thank you for the support. ISSMCC Moscow, thank you very much for the report, for the, the for your time. So we'll proceed working for the Form 24, the new arrivals. I would like to congratulate you on the successful arrival. Every success to you and good luck. Thank you. Thank you, Loshim. Okay, then we'll proceed working. Now please deactivate the TV camera and proceed for the timeline. There it was, uh, the welcoming ceremony and congratulatory calls uh, from uh, dignitaries and family members uh, from the balcony here at the Russian Mission Control Center in Korolyov. Uh, the first uh, congratulatory call came from European Space Agency astronaut Frank DeWinna, the first European Space Agency commander of the International Space Station last year, congratulating ESA astronaut Paolo Nespoli of Italy, who uh, begins his five-month tour of duty as an Expedition 26 and 27 crew member. International Space Station Deputy Program Manager Kirk Shireman congratulated Katie Coleman and the rest of the crew on a successful docking and arrival on the International Space Station. And then family members began one by one uh, to talk to the crew. Uh, Katie Coleman's husband, uh, Josh Simpson, along with uh, her sons, uh, Jamie and Josiah, offered uh, their best wishes uh, as uh, Katie Coleman begins her tour of duty on the International Space Station and the head of the Gagarin Cosmonaut Training Center, veteran cosmonaut and the most experienced space traveler in history, Sergei Krikalov, offering uh, his congratulations to the crew as they begin uh, their five months plus aboard the orbital outpost.